In this video, me and Adrian will give you a clear cut way that takes less than a minute a day to track your 20s to make sure that your 30s are spent relaxing instead of being stressful. Sam and I came across this wonderful accountability notebook almost a year ago when we saw a video by Reisu and not a single day has passed where we haven't used it. And it starts with a book. Any small book will do, but we'll leave a link in the description to two or three options that you could choose from. And these books are relatively cheap and will last you about a year if you follow the steps we lay out in this video. All right, now moving on, we're gonna show you how to fill out this book properly and how to set it up. You're gonna pick two pages. On the left page, you're gonna put the month and the year that you're currently in all the way on the far left side, basically all the days of the month. And you're gonna place the days of the week adjacent to it. So basically you have a reference point, you know exactly when it was, you know what the day was, the day of the week, and you know what happened on that day. Then you're gonna separate the days and the days of the week with some lines. And all the way on the far right, you can put how many pounds you weighed in that morning on that specific day. You could put the amount of money that you've made that day. You could put the amount of times you pet your cat that day. This is really customizable. There's no rules to it essentially, but it's sort of keeping you on track to progression, to, to progress even further than what you're already doing. Then we move on to these boxes. We make these boxes for our daily routines. And these daily routines consist of stretching, taking vitamins and exercising. Like I said, this is very customizable. So you could switch out stretching for doing a handstand, having a peanut butter jelly. Then in that big open space in the middle, it's gonna be your highlight of your day or your win of the day. We filled out the left page, we're gonna move on to the right page. Now this page is gonna be your monthly goals. These should directly correlate with your bigger goals, for example, your yearly goals. So some examples would be lose five pounds. If you're putting lose five pounds in your monthly goals, we can assume that your yearly goal is lose 15 pounds or lose 20 pounds. In order to fill out this journal, at the end of every day, that one minute of your night, you're gonna put the highlight of your day on the day that you choose. Adrian wrote dinner with my brother. Now it could be a highlight or a win, doesn't matter. You could get as specific as you want. He stretched, he took his vitamins, and he exercised. And then whatever his weigh-in was for that morning, he's just gonna write that down on that line next to it. When you come to the end of the month, and it's time to look over your goals. If you met the goal, you check it off. If you didn't meet the goal, you put why. We lost five pounds here. Did we reach a thousand subs? No, we hit 542. But he's also writing down what we need to learn how to do to get to that thousand subs. That whole bottom space, you could fill out and completely however you want. You could put your goals for the year. You could put a to-do list for the month. You could put absolutely anything you want. On the next page, this is where you could journal. You could write whatever you want, any ideas that you may have. Going back on the last couple months, this is what it should look like after you fill it out. So just like that, right before bed, every single night in under one minute, you'll write down your highlight of the day, you'll mark down if you hit your daily goals, and you're gonna review your monthly goals to see how on track you are to completing them. Stay accountable, always progress, BTB, 100 reps. Peace.